In this Invivo 12 for Windows demonstration video, we're going to work with classifications that we've already imported to manage them in different ways to edit and revise them. So the first thing we might want to do is to add attributes to a classification that we already have. So I'm going to come down and find my case classification that's called Students. I'm going to click on that and we see our classification sheet to the right. If we decided that we wanted to add another attribute that besides school and language and so forth, if we wanted to add something different, for instance, we maybe we wanted to add the school cluster, maybe schools are grouped together in this particular district, then I'm going to right click on the student classification sheet. Notice it says new attribute in the pop-up menu box. I'm going to click new menu. I'm going to type in school cluster. And I can go ahead and put the values in if I'd like to by saying add value. I'm going to say one is called east, another is called west, and so forth. I'm going to click OK. And the way we can tell that we've created this new attribute is we'll go over to the very last column and we should see it. Here we have school cluster. Notice that each one will say unassigned because we haven't yet said which school cluster each case should be coded to. So if we click the little button, you see the choices that I put in earlier as east or west. If I click east, we'll now assign Audiola School to the east school cluster. Sometimes when we're creating displays, from a classification sheet, it matters which order the columns are in. And just so that you can easily see how to move a column, if I uh, decided that I wanted school cluster to be over nearer to the school column, I can move it to the left by coming up to the classification tools, clicking the move column left icon and I can just keep moving it until I get it where I want it to go. Now it may be that, that you've got an attribute named in a way that you decide later you'd like to change the name of that attribute. So the way to do that is to come over to your cases again, click on your case classifications, and we'll see the case classifications in list view. When we click on the little plus next to student, I actually see the names of all of the attributes that are in this particular classification. So for example, perhaps we decide we want to rename school to building. So I'm going to right click on school and you see it says attribute properties in the pop-up box and I have an opportunity to type in my new name. I'm going to type in building and tell it OK. So now I've changed in all of the parts of the classification sheet the name of, of the place where the children go to school to building instead of school. If I decide I want to change it back, I simply can again right click, go back to attribute properties, and change it back to school, which is really a better descriptor. Sometimes you've imported a classification sheet uh, but the child wasn't on the original classification sheet. So there is a way to do that. If we come back and come to cases, and I'm going to choose New Case. So I'm going to call this New Case Debbie. And I could go ahead and, and assign attribute values to the Debbie case. So for each one, ELL, I'm going to say no, she's not an ELL. Ethnicity, she's Caucasian, European American. Gender, she's female, and so forth. I'm going to tell it OK. Now, if we look down in alphabetical order in list view, we should see the Debbie case has been added. Here it is. I'm going to click on the little plus button, and you see the values that I've already assigned. I haven't assigned them all, but I can go back into the classification sheet and continue assigning them anytime I'd like to do that. Now, one last thing that I think is interesting that you might want to be able to do is to visualize your case attributes. So I'm going to come back over to my cases and to case classifications and I'm going to double click them and you'll see that we have our student classification sheet. I'm going to open that up by clicking the little plus button and we see all of the attributes. I'm going to choose the attribute of language and I'm going to right click on that. Notice there's a choice to visualize and there are two different kinds of charts you can create but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, chart cases by attribute. And it creates a graph for us where we can immediately see how many cases fall into each of the values for language. So we have a certain number that are unassigned. 
we have a certain number that are English. If you move your cursor over the bars, it'll tell you exactly how many. So there are 25 cases of students who speak English. There are 38 cases who speak Spanish. There are five cases that speak Arabic. So it just allows you to get a visualization for some of the attributes that are in your cases.